Sea of Survivors is an absolute dream for combat enthusiasts. This game offers a heart pounding experience filled with the adrenaline field battles and the thrill of crafting perfect weapon setups. From the first cannon blast, I was hooked on the exhilarating rush of the high stakes warfare on the high seas. The absence of a linear storyline allows players to fully immerse themselves in the heart of the action. Every voyage feels unique, and the strategic depth in weapon selection and ship upgrades adds a layer of complexity that keeps the game fresh and engaging. Building and fine-tuning your arsenal is a deeply rewarding experience, allowing you for endless experimentation and creativity. The game's commitment to historical accuracy in the weaponry and the ship designs is also commendable. It's evident that the developers went above and beyond to create an authentic experience that pays homage to the golden age of piracy. Interesting change of mechanics with the slow, cumbersome tuning of a ship and it makes you really think of your moment and where you're going. Poop planning things ships. The starting three weapons are quite varied and require different playstyle and the fun really begins once you start making combinations of the weapons. There's a clear progression path and makes it easy to decide on what you want to try and unlock next. The game is a lot of fun if you're a fan of the survival genre games. It has some interesting aspects that other games in the genre don't, like the weapon, item linking and dim. There's a lot of warranted frustration in how difficult the game is. It's not skill-based difficulty either. You can't outskill the fact that you will be swarmed by enemies later in the game with no real way to counter it. The weapons are interesting at first, but you quickly realize that the most of them are weak and flawed. The enemy difficulty ramps up very quickly. Unless you focus entirely on the weapon damage, it's unlikely that any weapon you have will be of much use towards at the end of the run. The game needs a lot of balancing before I give it fire of fire. Right now, it's a current state, I'd give it 3 out of 5. A note for the devs, a few improvements I can suggest. I like the idea of seagulls, but perhaps you could increase the rewards when adding seagulls somehow? People don't really like to add difficulty for no reason. The tavern should split hard and horrible NPC somehow so it becomes more clear. Most important of all, Consider giving the player the ability to select which rewards will be available in the chest in your adventure. Otherwise, it feels like you're becoming quick about unlocking new rewards as they don't synergy well with each other. In summary, Sea of Survivors raises the bar for the naval survivors like combat games, delivering an internally changed experience that is intense as it's rewarding. If you're a fan of epic battles and of the creating of the perfect weapon loadout, Sea of Survivors is an absolute must play. Set sail and prepare for an unforgettable journey in the world of the high seas warfare. So thank you guys for watching this review on this game. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.